My name is Elsa Munt. I'm a third, fourth year, rising fourth year in the college, and I've been playing Carolina for about three years now, and I'm serving this fall as the Guild's president. The Carillon. So the Carillon's a keyboard instrument, which you can see. Um, it's a keyboard instrument that's made up entirely of bells. So where you have the, in a piano, you have the keys all go to a wire, and it taps the wire, instead of this taps bells. We have 72 bells, and each bell goes to one of these batons, and these are mirrored by a pedal board down here. So right now, I'm pushing down on middle C, which goes to the same baton right here, goes to the same wire up here, goes to the same clapper, same bell, same everything. The wire's main purpose is to connect the batons and the pedals to the bells through a series of pulleys and levers. But you'll see these turnbuckles is what they're called, so the kind of brassy circles, the discs. So for that, that's how we adjust the wire. So the same way you have to adjust the um, strings of a violin when the weather changes, when the string, when the wire, not the string, when the wire gets too long. Yeah. <laughs> when the wire gets too long, the clapper sticks against the side of the bell and dampens the sound. And so we don't get that nice musical resonance we're hoping for. And when it's too short, it doesn't hit at all. So the bells themselves, as a whole instrument, we have 72 of them. So all 72 together weigh about 100 tons. Um, but our lowest bell, this guy down here, weighs about 18 and a half tons, and the smallest bell weighs only 10 pounds. So it goes from very large to very small. Um, and that means that the lower the bells are, the heavier they are generally. So the heavier bells sound lower pitches, and in general we play with our feet down there because it's nice to have gravity on your side, because as the bells get heavier and heavier, so do the clappers, and that makes it harder to play with your hands. As with really every instrument, you want to be able to play hard, hard and soft, which here translates into playing softly and loudly, so play pretty loudly. When you play on the softer side, you're also able to do some articulation, so it's harder. You can play kind of staccato or tenuto just by like holding down. Here at University of Chicago, we have an auditions process, so in the first seven weeks of autumn quarter, new students will learn really the basics of how to play the carillon and learn how to play a piece, which they'll then audition on, on the middle of carillon up here. And then you usually take about five people or so every year, and you'll take lessons once a week, play recitals, lead tours.